Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And this is the look we're going to be doing today. I hope you all enjoy it. I had tons of fun doing it. So if you just keep on watching, we'll get to it. Hey guys. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to spray this multi-active toner by Dermalogica all over my face and let it air dry. And what this does, it helps stimulate your face and makes it more plump. And then I'm going to put this moisturizer all over my face. This is by L'Oreal. And it's super important to moisturize before you put any foundation or you might have dry patches. Because this girl right here gets so dry around her nose and mouth. So now I'm going to take this NYX eyeshadow base in the color white. And I'm going to apply this from my lash line up to my brow bone. I like the white color since my eyelids are pretty dark. This helps the eyeshadow stand out better. Now I'm going to take the first shade, which is like a whitish color, and I'm going to put that from my lash line up to my brow bone. I like to do this because it helps the eyeshadows blend easier. I'm going to take this color, and this is going to be my transition shade. So I'm going to apply this from my outer corner into my inner corner, and you just want to feather that in very lightly and blend upward. Now I'm going to take this dark shade and I'm going to apply that right below the shadow I just put on my eye from the outer corner into the inner corner. And I drag my outer corner out pretty far since I do have smaller eyes. This helps create the illusion of larger eyes. I'm going in with this color and this flat brush by Mud Cosmetics, number 330. And I'm going to apply this right underneath the lash shadow I just placed on. And you always want to blend upward. Now I'm just blending it all in. So now I'm going to go in with this pink shade. It's called Pink Illusion by Mud Cosmetics. And I'm going to take this pencil brush. And I'm just going to go right underneath the last shade and blend that in. And just mainly concentrating on the outer corner. And then I'm going to drag that down into my lower lash line. So now I'm going to take this NYX eyeliner pencil in the color black. And I'm going to go right under the pink illusion shade. And I'm going to go outward and upward and I'm going to take this smudger brush and I'm going to blend that in also going up and out and I'm going to take the color fashionista from my tartlet palette and I'm going to use that same brush and just add some more black to define the line better then I'm going in with my blending brush, and I'm just going to blend that upward and outward, just to remove any kind of harsh lines. Now I'm going to take this light shade and actually wet my brush before I dip into the shadow. That way, the, the shadow will have a metallic sheen to it. It's one of my favorite techniques. And I'm just going to blend that up to the eyeshadows. I'm going to go back in with that pink illusion shade. And I'm going to put this at the lower lash line. And I'm going to draw it upward. I'm going in with Fashionista. And getting as close to the lash line as possible above the pink illusion color. And then I'm going to grab that smudger brush and blend it in. And going back in with that NYX black and waterlining my eyes. So now I'm going to get started on my wink liner. And I like to come up and out and make a small triangle. And I just connect it all together. 
And if I feel like if it's not as long as I want it to be, I just extend it out a little bit and make it just a little bit thicker. I do my inner corner last. Wing liner is challenging at first, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. Now I'm taking that dark brown shadow called Multitasker and I'm going to start doing my eyebrows and I make hair like strokes and then when I get to my arch I do extend the line of my eyebrow just so it looks nicer with the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use this spoolie and blend out my eyebrows. I'm going to prime my face using this Smashbox face primer. And what this does is help cover any large pores you may have and it helps the foundation go on nice and smooth. I'm using the Matte and Poreless Fit Me by Maybelline in the shade 310. And I'm going to apply this all over my face using a foundation brush. I do like this foundation, although it can be a bit drying just because it's a matte type of foundation. So I'm going to set my face using this translucent powder by Revlon. It's the photo ready. And I do this so my blush will blend nice and easy. So now I'm going in with this blush, Classic Bronze by Jordana, and I'm going to apply this in upward motion using an angled brush, and I go up and down the cheekbone, and blend that in nice and good. Now I'm going to go in with the Deep Color in the Lorac Contour Pro Palette, and I'm going to go right below the, br the blush that I just put on, and apply it in an upward motion. And then I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush, and this is the Mud Cosmetics Color Glow. This is my favorite blush. And you're just going to go right on the cheekbone with that and also go in an upward motion. So now I'm going to go in with this NYX highlighter in the color Ritualistic. And I'm just going to go ahead and come in here and highlight the cheekbone area and follow that C shape right there. You know, get it all, you know shiny and shit. I do put quite a bit of highlighter on and I really want my highlight to be popping. I mean, I want you to see me glowing from a distance, okay? So now I'm going to take this medium contour color and I'm going to start contouring my nose. The thinner the lines, the thinner your nose appears. And you want to just go ahead and blend that all in. So now I'm going to grab the shimmer highlight and I'm going to put a dot at the tip of my nose and I'm also going to put some at my cupid's bow. So I'm going to go in with my concealer and cover up these bags because lord knows they are very, they are so bad. And I'm just going to take my foundation brush and just blend it all in. yellow highlight and the beige, beige highlight, I'm just going to mix them together. And I'm just going to pat this underneath my eye and I apply a good amount to bake it and what baking does is help fill in those fine lines and wrinkles. So now I'm just going to go in and flick all of this powder off. Then I'm just going to go in with a flat top brush and just blend everything in together. 
This is the mascara I'm currently using. It's the Makeup Plus Volume Express. I'm going to curl my lashes and do this off camera. I'm going with the Smoky Rose color by Revlon. And also a light pink color by Maybelline. It's called Petal Crush. I'm going to go ahead and line my outer lips with the Smoky Rose color. And then I'm going to go with the Petal Crush and fill in the center. I'm going to take this lip pencil brush and I'm just going to blend everything together. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.